Hello, I'm William Winkler. I'm the writer, producer, director of the Double D Avenger. And with me is Kitten Natividad, the star of the film, and uh, Raul Germain Jr., the cinematographer and editor of the film. I suppose the first thing that I should say is that I have always been a huge fan of B-movies from the 50s and 60s, the Russ Meyer films, the Roger Corman films, uh, the films that uh, were produced by AIP, uh, many of the Japanese monster pictures. I loved science fiction, fantasy, adventure, comic book characters and such. And so what I've done here is this is not your typical mainstream Hollywood product. Uh, this is the first in what is going to be a series of sexy action comedies that are sort of parodies of Russ Meyer films. Um, when I say sexy action comedy, it's sort of the sexiness of the Russ Meyer movies, uh, the action adventure of the Republic serials and the uh, comic books of the 60s, and the comedy of uh, comics like Benny Hill. So it really is kind of sexy action comedy. I am thrilled that I was able to have three of the biggest Russ Meyer stars in my film. Uh, Kit and Natividad, who, you know, has appeared in over 55 films, and Russ Meyer's uh, Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens and Up. And uh, she was Miss Nude Universe, and uh, spent 12 years with Russ, and uh, <clears throat> did a lot of strip shows and dancing in champagne glasses and stuff like that. Although I'm not going to have her do any nude press conferences or bikini walks the way Russ used to uh, do it. Uh, Haji, I'm so thrilled to have Haji involved, having her uh, appear. She had appeared in five Russ Meyer films, Motor Psycho, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, Good Morning and Goodbye, uh, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, and Super Vixens. And uh, Raven, of course, who was in Russ Meyer's Up!, and uh, also is pretty well known for uh, her work in The Lost Empire, where it was kind of a cult movie of its own. She was one of the, sort of the last of the classic burlesque queens along with uh, Kitten. And uh, also I'm just thrilled that uh, Forrest J. Ackerman was in my film. I mean, he's a touchstone to Boris Karloff, Bela Lugosi, Lon Chaney, Vincent Price. This was his 95th film. Uh, the guy invented the word sci-fi and edited famous monsters of film land, created the comic book character Vampirella, and uh, represented, or as he says, misrepresented Ed Wood. So uh, this really is a, is a great little, I'm very proud of this film, and uh, feel that it really will appeal to, to a lot of people, especially the B-movie fans, the Russ Meyer fans, the cult movie uh, fans in particular. Well, I'm Kitten, and I was very, very happy, and I'm very proud to be in this wonderful cult film. And it gives me a good chance to work with my dear friends, Haji and Raven. And hopefully in the next uh, series, we'll have more Russ Meyer girls. But for now, we have these, the three of us, and it's just great. Plus, all these younger, big, bosom women, they're terrific. I mean, um, yeah, you know, it was quite a thrill for me to work with some of these women. Um, I've been a big fan of Russ Meyer films for quite a while, and uh, you know, being a younger guy, I hadn't uh, really had the uh, the advantage of uh, seeing these films when they very first came out. But uh, I've always been interested in, in B movies, and became interested in the independent filmmaking of Russ Meyer uh, in my college days, and I was really thrilled by them. And then. To get the opportunity to actually work with Kitten and Haji and Raven was really thrilling. Uh, and getting to uh, uh, investigate some of their uh, world through the internet before we shot um, kind of gave me a better idea of what I was getting myself into. It, uh, it turned out to be a lot of fun. This uh, location here was uh, incredible. It was a, uh, it's called the Fox and Hounds Pub in Studio City and just was exactly what we needed for Chastity Knots English Pub. Gary Richards was uh, was fantastic there. I just think it's great to see Kitten again after a little while there, looking uh, <laughs> great. This actor here, uh, who played Bubba, 
is Gary Cannavello, and he's an actor who did a lot of bit parts, worked in Hook in 1941, and he's actually an opera singer. He sings all over the country. Uh, I think we get to hear him sing a little later. Yeah, yeah. He, he has kind of a Danny DeVito-ish uh, look to him, and that's what uh, we needed here. The bar was really fantastic to shoot in. It had a lot of, a lot of rich wood. And it was just the perfect place. The, the owner there let us have full reign of it and take over for the mornings that we shot there. I enjoyed working with him a lot. He was very huggable, you know, huggable and sweet, sweet guy. He went out of his way to be nice to everyone. He was sort of a pushover. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just think, I just think Kitten looks great there after, you know, oh, I love for the fan seeing her, the I, fan seeing her again. We actually shot this at a, um, <clears throat> a chiropractor's office in Woodland Hills, and I'm, he actually, I think he wishes to remain anonymous, but uh, <laughs> we used his office for the uh, doctor, Dr. Delacroix's office and also um, for the hospital. Raven, uh, I wanted Raven, to, actually this, the part of the doctor was originally written with a character who was sort of like a Paul Lind. It was going to be a male. And then I changed it to a female and wanted Raven and had trouble connecting up with her. So then Lori Williams from Faster Pussycat Kill Kill wanted to play the part, but then it was a problem with her. Luckily, I was get, able to go back and uh, finally meet with Raven, and she agreed to do the role. And we intend to have Dr. Uh, De La Croix in a lot of the other uh, Double D Avenger films and major roles there. The owner, the, the chiropractor who owned this office, used to be a, a professional bodybuilder. And that statue there that Raven kept pick, pinching the butt in some of the takes, that statue was actually of him in his day. Was that of him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. He's here, here, here I wrote a lot of jokes that are in jokes for Russ Meyer films, like, you know, Dr. Vicky Vixen, Edie Teves, Teves uh, Lorna. I mean, those are all titles of Russ Meyer's uh, movies. Yes, uh, Raven and I, uh, we, we were so glad to be working together, we kept um, <laughs> messing up our lines. Yeah, I know, this one was, this we scene was... We were nervous working together, can you believe this it? This scene was a tough one to edit, just about every take that you see is from a different take. You, you know, I, um, I don't know. I, we made each other nervous, but it came out okay, I think. I think this was the one night that we went really late. Yeah, it was, yeah. We had to shoot after the chiropractor's office was closed. And uh, I don't think we got out of there until well after midnight. It was probably one of our longest days. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, it, it was a rough... It was this rough. was a rough one, because I remember Bill kept taunting you to get try and get some of the emotions out of you there. The crying, yeah. That's right. And you said, cry, and I go, I am crying. <laughs> <laughs> Raven came up with some good business, too, there, so. Yes. Now you're going off to South America. That's LAX, right? Yes. And this we, is South America. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Raul and I got a few shots there of typical animals you'd find in South America, gorillas and hippopotamuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How come I didn't see him? No. Gar um, this is um, Ray Verdusco, and he is just a great, who played uh, Ronaldo the Guide. Stand-up comedian, uh, has worked lots of comedy clubs, uh, an evening at the Improv and the Laugh Factory, and he's just, he was just fantastic in this uh, in this character, you know, I mean, this is really, it, it's all a farce, so they're, they're all larger-than-life characters, and, and uh, you know. Yeah, he was a lot of fun. Actually, I don't think there was a, a bad take with him. No. No, he played a real good Mexican, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from a Mexican. Yeah, I mean, there's Orbs. Orbs yeah, yeah. was fantastic London, to work with as well. Yeah, London, London de Leon, um, she has done a lot of, uh, she worked in the miniseries, the 70s, and did a ton of indie films. Uh, there was a big European soap opera she was in called Vital Signs, and uh, she looks like a young Diana Ross. She did, she's done tons of modeling and swimsuit illustrated, oil volé, Clairol, and did Michael Jackson music videos. And was she's just, a real sweetheart. She's a real sport. 
as you'll see Real later. Real nice yeah. asses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she had an incredible, an awesome ass, I'll tell you that. Yeah. When she auditioned, you know, the, the race was open for orbs, and when she came in to audition, uh, just blew me away. I mean, she was so exotic in the way she talked and moved, and then when she uh, came to the part in the reading, I mean, we auditioned a lot of actors, you know, we had like hundreds of submissions, and... Uh, she took her two fingers and put them down her throat <laughs> to simulate the, the Croczilla fruit Whoa. thing. And she nice got the shot. part right then and there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the monkey. <laughs> the Croczilla was actually going to be a monster in one of the first scripts, and, and Orbs was going to fight the monster, and... It was going to be a guy in a rubber suit, and, and she was going to pull the feathers off the Croczilla and, and, and make a tea, and then Kitten was going to drink this tea. But, you know, because of budgetary restraints and, and uh, you know, we had a time problem, we couldn't make a monster suit. So the Croczilla became the Croczilla plant. And I thought, well, if, you know, it, it, I didn't want it to be such a cliche, you know, going to South America, getting a cure for an incurable disease. So I did a very, a very interesting twist on that theme. <laughs> yeah, it was difficult to shoot this one. We were, we were up, uh, up in a little private community, and uh, some of the neighbors were trying to get a look see at what we were doing, and it was, it was a little rough doing some of this stuff. Yeah. I remember it was a closed set. You know, a lot of the guys had to, you know, go away because she wanted, she didn't want anybody looking at her, right? <laughs> even, even, well, even the makeup artist I remember was a little shocked at what we were shooting. I think Michaela had second thoughts maybe at that point. <laughs> this was actually maybe our second day shooting or, or somewhere around there. It was, it was one of our earlier days of shooting. We constantly had looky loos. I mean, people came by thinking we were shooting porno movies or something. I mean, it really... Bob Mackey, who played the sheriff, I would, I would sick him over on the crowds to get them to go away, you know, to pretend he was a real officer. Oh my God! Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. That brings yeah. back memories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I get the impression here that neither one of these ladies that uh, this is not the first time that they have uh, encountered or had to, you know, react in this way with with this type of a prop. Remember, she said, you said your mouth is all tingly. Very tingly. <laughs> but I remember, I remember when we brought the Croxilla plants, you know, these plastic plants, that you commented on the balls, Kitten. You said the balls were too little. Very little, like little <laughs> monkey balls. <laughs> but the, but, the, but the, the shaft was fine for you, wasn't it? Excellent. Reminded me of Tom Selleck. <laughs> well, we'll get to that a little later at the, at the wax museum. <laughs> There was a wax figure of Tom there, and it brought back memories for Kitten. Again, Ray was a lot of fun here. He he gave us a lot of great ideas for this scene, um, and when we asked him to do a couple of things, he just he really went above and beyond, and it really made the editing so much easier. That's a rock. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of chilly. It looks day. real to me. What are you talking about? Remember, it was chilly. We just had a rain, so my everything nips, was nice and green. My nipples were always hard. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new, kitten? <laughs> Here's a very well placed banana. Well, that I. Oh, yeah. oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll I told wake, that'll wake me up. <laughs> and I love the Russ Meyer angles that Raul got. I mean, he I did an know. awesome job in in getting this. Uh, you know, really recapturing that those Russ Meyer angles. You know. <laughs> <laughs> There's your house. There's your house. That's Chastity's place. Just getting home. I need a good bra, that's what I need. <laughs> yeah, they were a little out of control. <laughs> well, the, 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 her, her globes shook so much during the turbulence that they, she thought they'd arrived before her, and they did. I, Look, think, I think, in fact, they did. You'll see what happens oh, there. The, wow. the damn things are yeah. <laughs> down to her belly. <laughs> What's the matter? You couldn't afford a bra for me? <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, she's got superpowers. Oh, I love that. 
And here's here's Raoul's special effect. This was his idea to, to bend the spoon. Now watch how watch how sophisticated we did it. It, it just isn't that incredible. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I mean, it, it, Steven Spielberg it eats your heart out. You know what I mean? Do we don't need CGI. It costs we, a lot of money to do that. Well, we've got this type of business going on. Back in there, that's why it took so long to shoot that night because we had several scenes to shoot in this place. We actually shot three entire scenes that evening. Yeah, yeah, that was a very that busy. That was a lot. That was a lot. It was a lot of. There was a lot of dialogue that night for you to memorize. It was a lot of dialogue. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, it, it, more dialogue than a typical Russ Meyer movie, I guess. Yes, yes. Here, this is kind of a funny scene where Raven is oh, talking to Russ Meyer good. on the phone, is, is how I wrote it. So she's talking to Mr. Russ, and Russ isn't doing so well, so she's going to make a house call and check him out. Sounds like a special house call <laughs> yeah. she's going to make, though. Yes. She's going to kill two birds with one stone. She's got another customer, another patient oh, in the neighborhood. I just love my hair. <laughs> You should go blind. Did you? Actually. Yes. In Up, you worked with Raven in. Oh, no, no, you we were never in had scenes together. It was our first time having scenes together. Same thing with Haji. Yes, with the same thing. I hope we get to do it again. I'll be more comfortable. Well, your boobs look big as ever. I mean, when, when we said that <laughs> the Russ Meyer, you know, the, the cult, cult cinema's famous big girls are back again. They are back. Uh, Oh, here I like this business that Raven, Raven brought the boas and all this stuff. Really, she was busy. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna pull a boa out of the little special place there. One of her ex-husbands was in was in the Hell's Angels. There, I think her ex-husband was sort of a. What was it really? Yeah. Yeah, she was in the Blues Brothers. And that's uh, the owner of the pub right there, that uh, With the hat. gentleman Gary wow, Richards. that's right? nice. There's yeah. Logan LeBrent from Hustler, and uh, she was referred to me by Deshara Wallace, Sandy Dees, and, uh, and that's that, me. Yeah, it's my cousin. I had done a bunch of uh, acting years ago, and uh, when I had this part, I thought, well, you know, I, I would... I did it because I was available, I was affordable, and I knew that Kitten and I could be the two continuing characters through the whole series, and uh, so I did. I'm sort of like Alfred the butler, you know? I mean, I, I, she needed a character to take care of the pub while she was out fighting crime and such, so that's what uh, I did. <clears throat> there she was breaking Gary's back. Yeah. Boy, could he eat, huh? <laughs> and drink. Did you see that beer? He guzzled down. Oh, he was such a sweetie, though. He never got drunk, though. I think he had a hollow leg. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he could get drunk on that what one footer sandwich, huh? <laughs> you know, I did. I gave. You know, one of the things we did. We, we you talked about eating. Yes. We 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 ate pretty well on this. Uh, Shoot, you know, we yes. had gourmet, uh, no roach coaches on this thing. Mm -mm. And uh, although when I had a nice spread, everybody in the crew went for the junk food, you know. <laughs> I, Haji, Haji made it abundantly clear, you know, she's a health food uh, person and she doesn't eat red meat and all this stuff. So She was the first one to grab the goodies. Well, she was also the first one to go three times to the, to the dessert bar, you know. I know, <laughs> with M&M's in it. This scene is interesting because this was shot months after we had wrapped. Uh, I had an idea that we could incorporate some of Kitten's classic photos into the, that she owns into the film, uh, kind of as a special treat for Russ Meyer fans and such. And so that's what we did. I, I brought Gary uh, back months later and had him <laughs> play Bubba. So now he's going to dream sequence. about all these... Uh, all these scenes. Sexy kitten. Oh, I love the way you're doing that swirly. Yeah. Here, you, here you look like a 1950s pinup. Ball. Yes. Yeah, that was great. Actually, oh. we had a doctor quite a few of these pictures, though, if you'll notice. There might be some translucent nipples going on. They're popping out. They were oh, popping out. A lot of these pictures, you, you were actually nude. And uh, we oh, wanted to tame them down a little kidding. bit. 
Mm-hmm. We wanted to tame them down a little bit. Why and, is it? Uh, oh, that's right. It's GP. I forgot. PG. <laughs> PG. <laughs> when I told her we were going to do the audio commentary for the DVD, she said, I, I, I'm looking forward to doing the commentary for the VD. <laughs> See, here we actually had pussy. We, we actually had to put a we, we had to put a uh, a bathing suit on you there. It's a big pussy. What was that? I always see that that picture. You when did you that that picture was for what you just did? That was because like a, uh, I like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> for one of the big chains there, huh? Uh, licky licky. <laughs> but um. You know, when you're a model, you just have to be creative. Mm. With whatever food products you can get your hands on? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I, I, I might... Croczilla fruit. Oh, and <laughs> I don't know about this guy. <laughs> He's so sweet. <laughs> Give him a bottle. There he is. Well, there she is playing tennis and blew up the tennis ball. Yeah, we had quite Whoa. a few sound effects in this film. Give yeah, me look at a that. bra next time. Well, they're popping out all over, my God. <laughs> That's for sure. You break your nose running around. Oh like my that. goodness! There's not, nothing left to the imagination there. <laughs> it's interesting that the back of those plants look kind of like South America. Yeah, absolutely. Nice view. Yeah, this was beautiful. We we got really lucky with some of the night skies that we had. Uh, really helped. Uh, so I remember we had to shoot right now, right now, right now, right now. Wow! Look at the yelling. cloud. Oh, that's heavenly. Yeah, it was really Boy, great. Chastity does pretty well with that English pub, as you can tell. She's yeah. got a nice house. And <laughs> oh, God. It's heaven. Oops. <laughs> this is where he he really goes naked, right? <laughs> yeah, well, this is scary. He brought one suit, and I said, well, wait a minute. you got to take it off. and sh-, You know, so he, he did it. This is what's scary. He's the only naked, nude person in the whole movie, you know. Like, <laughs> but I think I think Kitten looks fantastic oh, there. I mean, hey. really that Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, I know. And I could I couldn't see it cuz his belly was in the way, but <laughs> but but I know he had a woody. <laughs> cuz it was kind of sticking straight up. <laughs> he want he wanted to show it to you, didn't he? Yeah. I think so. He wanted to share. And you know it's fine, and and the water was wonderful around it. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> you see, what's funny about this too is that you know, in a, in a typical Russ Meyer movie, Kitten would be jumping into the tub with him, you know, and taking her clothes off. But in this thing, Chastity Not is, you know, kind of giving him the business. Well, I'm a good Catholic girl. I know. <laughs> Catholic. <laughs> yes, I work on my knees. No. <laughs> Lovely. Oh boy. Yeah, I hear you were reading of the riot act, and then he had to put the oh, suit I back on. Oh, yeah. I I did it in one take. All those lines, like I don't know, yeah. was it like twelve lines? It was yeah, a good one. Long... This is um, Al Purplewood Strip Club. We shot at Sandrellas in Anaheim, and Sandy D's had worked with Kitten actually. There's Haji after a little while and looking good. Mima. Oh, wow. What Larry, a woman. Larry Butler as Al Purplewood and Sherry Thomas as Ooga Boobies. I wanted kind of comic book characters, and, and the strippers are all kind of Haji's a Greek goddess, and Pirate Jugs is this pirate character, and Ooga Boobies is this cave woman. And uh, when Al, when Larry Butler auditioned, he just he took the part. I mean, he came in with a purple shirt on and and just blew me away. We just, uh, I, I, I booked him right then and there. I said, you know what, you're, you're Al Purplewood. Well, it's and, sort of uh, like a Jackie Gleason, huh? Yeah, yeah, he was very much... Uh, very high carries, He carries half the, the, the movie. But I was very lucky in finding this location because I had a great deal of difficulty in L.A. finding a strip bar to shoot at. Uh, the guys wanted... You know, <laughs> tons of money, and were very difficult. The owners of the clubs were very difficult people to work with. So, but uh, Sandy Dees, who had worked with Kitten years ago, uh, doing burlesque and stuff, uh, allowed me to use her club, Sandrellas, which is just incredible. Yeah, it was a great place. A little bit of truck to drive all the way down there, but uh, it was really great. They had a lot of built-in lights um, that we could use. They had a great uh, disco ball that uh, really added a lot, especially when we added a little bit of smoke 
uh, you can see the place really lights up. And going along with that whole comic book theme that Bill was talking about, we try to light it that way, really give it some great color, um, adding uh, greens and uh, oranges, uh, accents all over the place to uh, really kind of give it uh, a comic book feel. Now, Haji, Haji made her own costume, I mean, really got into the role, made her own costume, had blue, I mean, purple contact lenses, uh, redid her hair and such, totally got into uh, what we were doing here. Yeah. Sherry, Sherry Thomas was referred to me by Jay Orberg, who's a well-known manager, and, uh, you know, or you'll see Elizabeth Starr, who uh, was a major adult film actress, uh, she was going to play Ooga Boobies, and then she had a little some medical problems, so I wound up having to search for somebody else. And really, uh, you know, she she did a Sherry did an incredible job playing Ooga Boobies. I told her that, you know, she whenever she says Ooga Boobies, she has to think as though she's answering in normal English to get the right inflection. So, and this guy's great too, Craig Mayo. Who, Craig Mayo, uh, he's a lot of fun. Yeah, Raul referred him to me. He's pretty funny. We actually, this, this whole little <laughs> sequence, I just kind of made something out of it. We, we went and shot and shot and shot. There's tons of footage there. And it actually ended up pretty well, uh, the way we have him dancing the dollar at the end. <laughs> what happened? She didn't want the money? No, not from him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, <clears throat> this guy uh, actually uh, was referred to me, Woody Ben Goa. He was referred to me by Desiree uh, Ascalon, who was my assistant. And uh, this character is actually not too far removed from uh, <laughs> Woody's uh, real personality. He's worked a lot in different uh, shows. In fact, he was in the Power Rangers, too, of all things. Ooh. Um, this guy's name was uh, Lucius Bryant, and uh, it was really kind of funny getting hypnotized by Haji. Mm. We found this button that could... Uh, Flash and would hypnotize him that she could put in her belly button, which was hilarious. It is. It's hypnotizing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this scene was actually kind of fun to shoot, these two scenes, because as a cameraman, you can see the point of view is they actually had to give me lap dances. <laughs> well, that's what Russ did all the time. I told, you, I told you that you'd have fun doing this thing, so. Yes, you did very good. Sherry Thomas... Uh, Sherry was in Armageddon, featured in that, and also Blade had parts in it. Mima, Pirate Jugs, uh, has done a lot of indie films and uh, did a lot of Italian television for RAI, which is their major uh, network. And uh, when I told her, I said, you've got to do a lot of, uh, you know, really stick out your breasts and everything else. She's all oh, Bill, my boobs are yours, you know, so. <laughs> and at some point, her, her tits were popping out and... Oh, everybody. You could see the whole thing. Yeah, it was it was something. Larry here has done a lot of stuff. He was uh, he did Perry Mason and Father Dowling and uh, Beetleborgs for Saban, a bunch of bunch of shows. But this is really the first really major feature role where he's really starring. He also plays classical piano, you know, very very good. Really? Yes, and he sings. Well, but Kitten's I, but met he him plays, a few times, right? Yeah, Kitten? he's come over for dinner at my house. I gave, I gave him shrimp and rice. Really? <laughs> what does that mean, Kitten? <laughs> That's what he got, shrimp and rice. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a good guy. He was a pleasure to work with. He had a little bit of hypoglycemia, so we had to give him protein. And there it sounds like he's chewing his cigar, but he's actually finishing up some hamburger, you know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but I love how you've smoked up the place there, Raul. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, this stuff, you know, be, you know, digital video is pretty difficult to, to light uh, and make it look really nice, but uh, I think we really dialed it in here. The place looks really, really nice, especially the wide shot uh, with the blue in the background, and especially that disco ball in the background really adds some depth that uh, digital video is often missing. So uh, I think I think we really hit the mark with uh, all of this look in this uh, in, the, mm -hmm. in the strip bar. Took, it, nice it, it took a couple of weeks to you know clear out the lungs, but I mean it looked. <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> yeah. Haji looks fantastic. That's the amazing thing is that, uh, you know, again in a mainstream Hollywood <laughs> production, you'd never see anything any type of casting like this. But 
I basically had Haji's character on par with Pirate Jugs and Ooga Boobies, although there was a little bit of an age difference. And I don't think... The thing is, like a live-action comic book, and I don't think you, you really think of, you know, age differences. It, 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 you know, uh, she is just one of the strippers along with Pirate and and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Ooga Boobies. And it, it works. It kind of... Yes, they're all dingbats. <laughs> they're, they're clever girls, very clever girls. The music, now we should probably mention something about the music. The music's so fantastic and it adds so much to so, several of these scenes. Oh yeah, yeah, Ron Shore did a fantastic job. I tried to get sort of a nostalgic 70s action-adventure uh, soundtrack and that's exactly what he, what he delivered and it was just phenomenal. Maybe your boobs are a little out of control again. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> they always are, aren't they? I, I wonder if he really loved me or just my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. Well, this is a great shot. Yeah. The, the, the looks the girls got when they were driving down the street from strangers was just, in, you know... People were flipping out. <laughs> the water done. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Prop. What do you mean? That's real cement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a really good sport. He had to lay there for a good ten minutes with that stuff on his face. I know. He couldn't breathe. Oh, there she goes. There I go. Now, I have to confess something. Oh. Every time you see the jumping... I used to be in gymnastics. Oh. We were in problems. I we had to get these inserts. <laughs> I wore the out, Double D Avenger outfit and Chastity Knots outfit. Whenever you see the jumping, that's me. And hopefully we got enough of that stock footage so I don't have to ever do it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob Mackey, who was originally going to play the deputy. We had hired a, a midget, a, a little person, to play the deputy, but he didn't work out, so we had Bob Mackey play it. And uh, now we're back at the club again. I like that sort of lost in space look in the background with the flashing lights. Ooh, you know, you always, had, you always had the flashing Fabulous. lights and lost in space. Fabulous lighting, I love it. Yeah, well, I had a lot of fun lighting this. It was, mm -hmm. it was all, you know, you got a bunch of beautiful girls and you got to light uh, dramatically for the bad guy. And we're, we're trying to use a lot of colors to convey a mood. Oh, you can see green it. in the background. And the, plus, uh, Sandra's uh, strip club there is, is so fantastic. There's just so many built-in lights. Well, what's, what's really great, Raul, is that, you know... I, I love the fact that you had training in lighting for film. Yeah, that's really my background you know, is, is in motion picture uh, film and, and digital video. It's just another another great tool to use. Was there a sound for this? Yes, and there you, it, it was very loud because you've got superpowers now. You don't blow your nose like normal people. <laughs> yeah, that was a beautiful setting. Oh, wow. My pub. Yeah, this you'll see was quite an editing feat as well. We were using several different takes, and uh, so we're jumping all around, but uh, I think we got what we needed. Uh, it was a tough one. They were very nice to us there, weren't they? What were you doing on the phone there? Well, I don't know. I... You weren't having phone sex, were you? <laughs> no, I wish I was. I'd have a bigger smile. <laughs> you heard my phone sex. You are so cute. <laughs> he insisted on listening. Did you enjoy it? Well, it was amazing, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> His phone bill this next month is going to be pretty epic. Yeah. I think. <laughs> well, I got a discount because I, you know, I'm, I'm the producer. So. Another bill acting feat. Yeah. Oh, we make a nice couple. Well, here she's confessing what uh, she's going to take matters into her own hands as I'm a so costume superhero. I got supernatural powers. Yeah. Here we see her for the first time. Yep, oh, there she is. Me. The mask is a is an A-size like training bra and we didn't put I didn't want to have any insignias on the chest like normal superheroes because I didn't want anything to cover up the breasts or areolas or nipples. So the two Ds are on the belt. Yes, and I couldn't see out that mask. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can see that you can't see out that mask. My fake eyelashes were in the way. 
You know, actually, it was funny. Mima did such a good job there, Sandy offered her a strip job after the shoot. <laughs> oh, wow. This, this particular scene was supposed to be a car washing scene, and we were going to have a lot of wet TNA stuff. But we had rains, and the schedule got thrown off for this scene, so I just rewrote it slightly, and we did it. Uh, the girl's did it. working out. Yeah, the girl's did it stretching. The, yeah. We'll get a car wash scene in the next one. <laughs> this was fun. I think Al, uh, Al almost actually, well, not Al. Uh, Larry? Larry actually almost hurt his back on this next one when he, when he did the fall here coming up. I think Haji looked great in a lot of these, most of these scenes just really was, there's a couple where she's like, you know, looks like she's 30 years old, you know. It's... Yeah, and Sherry always looked happy and fun. Well, Sherry looked Ooh, like this she... is where he almost broke his back. Yeah, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> Again, the girls got looks like you wouldn't believe driving down this thing, down the street. One guy with a dog was screaming, "Oh, I love L.A.!" You know, checking him out. And yeah. <laughs> Originally, I was going to have three cars in the script. Each girl was going to have three, but then it made better sense to consolidate them and have them in one vehicle. So logistically, that's what we did. During the filming of this scene. Uh, I made a boo-boo. Yeah. It, I'm so watch Kitten's magic bag. I could have killed her. I said, Kitten, <laughs> don't, don't, baton, don't move your it. bag. Don't move your bag. She went and put it at the car. I know. It's it a very expensive bag. And there bag. it disappeared. Oh. You could also see the sun slightly came out, too. I could have yes. killed you. This scene, Gary Richards came out and watched us filming this scene, the, the owner of Fox and Hounds Pub. He saw the girls shoot the guns, looked at me and said, you know, you're a sick man. <laughs> Did he really say that? Yeah, and we had a, we had a, there was an old man who was sort of like a dirty old man. He lived next door to this pub. Oh, wow, look and at he me was, go. Terrific. He was spying on the girls, you know, watching the whole scene, take, having excuses to come out cutting flowers or cleaning an old refrigerator <laughs> every five minutes coming out to take a peek, and you could tell the... We had lots of looky-loos. I remember that was kind of difficult to shoot around, some of these people that wanted to stand around and look at all the girls and... You know, because I remember Sherry Thomas came out and she was like, I feel so naked. Yeah. And she practically was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard running in those boots. Desiree's <laughs> doing a lot of the running here. Yes, but... And I'm doing the flipping. Yeah, but she's a whole lot younger than me. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. She was great as a pirate. She almost looks like she's a real pirate. That's really pretty much her look. I don't know that we had to dress her up too much. <laughs> exactly. Booby bounds. <laughs> I saw some balls there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, you, 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 you gotta pause the tape real. <laughs> pause and zoom in. Little huevitos. <sighs> Poor Haji. She had such trouble with the tongue Ouch! twisters. <laughs> the tongue twisters I gave her. A, a booby buggy bomb will fix her like a lightning bolt from yeah, Zeus. You know? Did and, you and did tongue twisters. Al, the booby, all the, the time. booby buggies discombobulated. You know, she had problems getting that. Oh, got stuck in the tits. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Booga boobies. <laughs> Boy, Sherry Come looked boober. enormous there. My God, there were scenes where she just looked like you Amazon. Know, Paul Bunyan's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> Look at the dead bird. <laughs> yeah. You got to think what these people thought who were driving up, you know, in the background there. Just This was fun. We shot the next scene at the Movie Land Wax Museum, and it just in Buena Park. And I have to tell you, the people there were just incredibly fantastic. It's the greatest wax museum you've ever been to. The Chamber of Horrors is incredible. It really was great. I got there a little bit early, and I and I walked through, and it was really a lot of fun. Yeah, and, and Kitten actually saw. And the saw, people were very nice to us. Yeah. They gave us the red carpet. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. For a. Uh, Forrest Ackerman's coming up here, and like I say, I'm just thrilled and delighted that he, oh, he was, was in the film. So good. We all rode together. He was so good. 
all row, row together. The lighting is wonderful here. Well, my cape could have used a little ironing, but. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, Forey has this huge museum full of, you know, sci-fi fantasy film uh, props. And, I mean, it, 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 he has Bela Lugosi's cape and everything else. And at the end of the shoot, he, he used this uh, toilet plunger, and he said, Bill, I'd, I'd like, to, are you going to need this prop? And I said, no, no, you, why, you, you want it? And he says, yes, oh my God, Forey, I'd be delighted to have you take the toilet plunger and add it to the Acker Mansion along with Bella Lugosi's cape and everything. I said, well, well actually, no, I, I got a couple of stuffed up toilets. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> and so that, that kind of ended that. Oh, you know? that... Oh, so much for uh, you. Say, you have such a big head. Yeah. <laughs> this oh. is a great scene. Haji, ha, for some reason, Haji's character really fit in well in this yeah. wax yeah. museum. Did with the with the his outfit was wonderful yeah. too. Somebody made that for him. I think. Mm -hmm. Now, kitten, you saw some interesting wax figures in the museum of. Tom Selleck. Oh, yes, one of the best lovers in the whole world. Tom Selleck, Magnum. Huh? Good looking, tall, handsome, and hung like a horse. Oh, God. <laughs> so there is something to that Magnum, huh? Yes, he's a Magnum. <laughs> and then Red Fox, too, right? We saw a figure of him. Yeah, he's a good guy. Always gave me the best cocaine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Tony Curtis. Oh, you yes. saw Tony Curtis's wax figure in there. What? Oh, yes, yes. He was dressed up as a woman at one of his favorite outfits, yes. But didn't he, he used to like your purses, didn't he? Oh, yes. He's a wonderful guy. He likes garter girls and stockings, yes. <laughs> on him, though. <laughs> well, yeah, Kitten said that, not me, so. Hey! Oh, that, those were, you, you know. You know, that actually hurt. She was mean. <laughs> we only had a few, you know, when I had breakaway props in the movie, like this this thing and uh, the vase and the bottles, we only had like a few. It, they're very expensive for our budget. So we were always preparing that, you know, we had one take, had to get it right, and Haji did it perfect. We had to take the gloves off there for continuity. Yeah. Because we had shot the earlier scenes where they enter and leave the wax museum. <laughs> because somebody <laughs> forgot to put her effing gloves, gloves on. Because I can't open doors or pick my nose with those gloves. I had to take them off at one point. <laughs> You'll see at the end of the, when they, when they actually leave the, uh, the museum there that she doesn't have any gloves on. That was shot several hours earlier than this. Oh, there's my boyfriend. <laughs> For the Wolfman or for Oh, for Forey! <laughs> <laughs> Although she's ha she's had a couple of boyfriends that resemble the werewolf, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was marvelous. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to get. You know, many times uh, people have given Forey cameos in films, but I didn't want to just have him come on and do a silent bit thing. I. I gave him like 40 lines and, and he kind of improvised them, but uh, I really wanted him to have a significant You gave role. him a whole page. It was kind of hard. <laughs> well, it was a lot, actually more than one page. It was a lot of... It was, but he... he well, he, he did a good did. thing. He kind of took those lines and made them his own and... He uh, made sense of them, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He, he, didn't, he didn't follow them word for word, which kind of gave me a little bit of trouble in the, uh, in the editing, but um, it wasn't so bad. No. This was his 95th film, and he told me I, he has to be in all the other Double D Avenger films because he wants to uh, make it to 100 films oh, by his 100th birthday. His so, heart. And there she is coming out without the gloves. Oh, no, it doesn't look good without gloves. Well, that's why Haji took well, the Well, I mean, here. what's wrong with the cameraman? Can he tell me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my job. <laughs> This is a funny, I love this line where she comes in and says, I just took an RTD bus to get here. It scared the hell out of me. And I says, how come I've never driven a bus oh, before? So and I just... <laughs> 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 this is also interesting, this next sequence of shots that we had to do. Yeah, we I just kind of sprang on the girls that morning, I think. Yeah, I got, uh, <laughs> we, we put sort of put them into lesbian sex positions, which, which is kind of, <laughs> I remember. I remember that it was either Sherry or, or Mima had uh, her behind in Haji's face. Haji looked at me and said, "Well, this is a first, you know." <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Although 
well, I don't know if that is that true, Kitten? Oh, look at her butt <laughs> her first, and she's biting it? I don't think she so. She was biting your butt. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> the Cherry Thomas, my God, looks enormous. Well, she she really fulfilled the part. She is a stripper now, isn't she? Yeah. She's so. a dancer somewhere. Yeah. Well, she was uh, all in with all the all the hip crowds too when she oh, came into town. Yes. She party was, after party. She was going party. to Playboy Mansion. And yeah. She went to a party every night Hills. and showed up with full. Why well, weren't we? We weren't invited to any of those parties. <laughs> well, yes, we were, but you know, we didn't go. But she would come in the next morning with full makeup. Remember? Yeah, she was all ready to go. Ready to go, and we're all like, uh oh, dragging in. Yeah. Getting the makeup this, done. This is a funny scene in that uh, you know we have the spanking and. Sherry's all, no, 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 I don't like it. And Mima's, no, 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 I don't like it. And then Haji's, oh, yes, Al, I love it. Well, <laughs> that's because in true life, she does like it. What? <laughs> well, I mean, who doesn't? I like it. Ooh. You like spanking, huh? Yeah, God, did, it just, it's sensational. Did Larry come over to your place and spank you? Not like yet. No? <laughs> no, but he said he'd give me a licking. <laughs> What did you say about that belt, Kitten? Something about Oh, I it? like to take him by those horns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, does he look easy? What? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, Kitten. I don't know. Uh, oh, right there he does it. Oh, he yeah. loves me. <laughs> well, there now he's finding out I about the double I think he wanted event. lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he needed his something to eat, remember? Yeah, hypoglycemia again, I guess. I don't know. That's funny. There he is. I was saying why he's, why he's upset is because he's got VD. The girls gave him oh. herpes. Well, what something. I love is all of them are like, hmm. Yeah. But they all have it, don't they? No. <laughs> yeah. That almost looked as if. This was hilarious, but I nearly died when the police car drove by. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did well, they everybody. See? We were right there, like right off Ventura Boulevard. And there was like a million people around. You can see there's a big gas station across the way. I just told them I was ready for Halloween, that's all. Yeah, people were, were getting quite a, an eyeful that day. Yeah, we just had looky loos right and left. It was amazing. You sent some uh, the sheriff. Yeah, Bob. Bob did a. You know, I I had so many outrageous characters in this film that what was good about Bob is that he was not outrageous. was was just kind of played it straight, you know. And he was like one of the few normal people in this thing. You, need, Very you always need the straight guy yeah. in a yeah. film to to really cast your other your other cast members as being outlandish. He looked. In other words, he's normal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you, you like uh, guys like Bob, don't you? Yes, I do. I do <laughs> like guys like Bob. Very normal. <laughs> oh, what now, if you, you look hard, that, Bill? If you look in the mirror behind his head, you can actually see the boom oh, hanging in the no. mirror. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> no, you have, to, you have to look closely, but yeah. One of the very... The boom. Well, I'll just have to see this movie again to see that. <laughs> the supply closet behind the bar there. Yeah. You know, often you have to make do with what you've, you've got. I In the script, I had all sorts of, you know, a secret room and different things. And again, with time and budget, we had to do certain things. But she actually had like a little hidden door there that worked out... <laughs> Worked out great. That that location was fantastic. We had pool tables, we had booths, we had a stage, a bar, two sides of the bar. Not that we partied there. Well, either. no, unfortunately, we didn't party there, <laughs> but uh, it was really fantastic. And good hard floors and and wide open areas. Yeah, wide open areas, plenty of spaces for all the lights and the camera and our sound guy and. And it was sort of a closed set. Not a lot of people there. To no, yeah, absolutely. To bug and move around. And yeah, everybody felt comfortable. There you are. Another shirt, huh? Yeah, now she's uh, she's going to trap one of the villains. She's going to go to the lingerie store. Oh, this is... Oh, I see. The lingerie store was uh, great. It was called the Booby Trap, oh, <laughs> of all I things, in Woodland that. Hills. And Lynn was fantastic there. It had a really nice place. 
and uh, we've got a very exciting scene. It was real scene. small too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was small. That was a tough place to shoot in. I mean, half the time I'm all, I was always putting makeup and my wardrobe in the car bill. That was my dressing room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Outside. Well, what did Russ Meyer used to do? He had. I a... did it in the truck. <laughs> I've always had a rough it. Yeah, here's wonderful Logan LeBrent. Yeah, she was oh, fantastic. Yes. Wow. This was her own stuff, or was it from the lingerie shop? That was her own stuff. Okay. I don't. I don't know if the lingerie shop had anything big enough to fit her. No, oh, she. Wow. No, that's right. She's There's Elizabeth Whoa, Star. Oh, now that's huge. Yeah, she was going to play Ooga Boobies, but uh, but I was still able to get her in the film in some bits here. Sandy Dees is also uh, oh my here. Oh, my word. It's fabulous. It's just fabulous. I, gee, you think I was a dyke or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate you. This was actually really eyes. rough for me to shoot. Yeah, Raul, you'll, you'll yeah. notice that we had you lots of footage good. here. You did You yeah. did very, very good. Raul, Raul. Uh, oopsie, she dropped it. <laughs> I think Raul did excellent. Yeah, well, I, I, I could always inch, use more practice at stuff like this. Every inch you got. I remember I had to put her help her with her garter belts, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, and you hated that, right? Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> you needed a nice cool drink afterwards. <laughs> yeah. you know, it was funny. That's Sandy who owns uh, Sandrellas. And uh, Logan's doing lots of men's magazines and works uh, with Hustler, and again, to Shara Wallace, who was the head of talent at uh, Larry Flint Publications, referred her to me. And, and adult I really... videos, right? Yeah, she's working with Vivid and other... Really sweet girl. Showed up on time. I mean, you, you know, usually you can't get professional uh, well, She never stayed like for that. lunch. Did you notice that? Well, she has to keep her figure, you know... <laughs> She can't. She can't keep going back to the dessert bar three times like you and Hodge. Hodge. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you have to mention me too? <laughs> oh, you've seen the villain. You've spotted one of them. She's a very strong girl. Now, I, yeah, I had to restrain her. I told. I kept telling her, Mila, listen. Now, now, give it. She gets into don't it. Don't push Kitten too far, because I mean, there were some very. There were glass tables nearby. I was afraid that she was gonna. You know. Oh, forget the tables. What about my tits? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you got a three-cupped bra, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Your mom made it, huh? No, I made it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I helped out with some of the props there. Uh oh there comes Logan and everybody. Now, this lady here, Cindy Clark. Oh, Cindy she... Clark is fantastic. Oh, Great she comedian. Was. She had bits in The Nutty Professor and Mad TV and... <laughs> I want to have her come back again, too. Yeah, she was sweet. She was a good sport. Funny as hell. Oh, this is where uh, or Ooga Boobies was bouncing for the entire scene. <laughs> you know, I actually... Oh, yes. It was adorable. I actually improvised that at the last minute. I, I said, you know, Sherry, you're very nervous here. Both I, I told Haji that, too. I said, look, this is you're in big trouble. Pirate's going to spill the beans. You're nervous. Really shake, shake like hell. And she did it. And, you know, she just went for it. And this is... For like five minutes. We did. We, we took this scene we shot maybe four <laughs> or five times to get all the takes. And, and there's Haji checking it out. Yeah. She had to shake for a good 20 minutes all together. Yeah, it was fantastic. This was this was a very difficult scene. It just really not tended for to... not for the well. I think we had so many pirate. characters. We had the yeah, number pirate. She had to lay there the entire time. <laughs> now we she had so many characters to cover in this, and yeah. uh, it was late again. This is back. We were shooting this the same night that we were shooting with uh, Raven in the earlier hospital scenes. The uh, deputy is played by Steve Wickless, and he's. Uh, all the girls call him sort of a pretty boy model. He's he's is a professional model. He's done a lot of work, commercials and soft drink things for Sierra Mist and stuff. He's he's with like one of the top modeling. He's so cute. Agencies for. Yeah, he played a pretty good straight straight dumb guy too. Yeah, he was pretty good. I remember Mima said, "Where am I at the bottom of Davy Jones' locker?" And she said, "What?" And I said, you know what that means, right? She said, no, well, Davy Jones from the Monkees. I said, no, you're a pirate. It's Davy Jones Black and Bob the Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that she thought, either. She thought it was Davy Jones. 
Now, Sherry's going to make an entrance here that's just fantastic. Oh, Girl, the you lighting. That great. You should get an award for that. Ooh, that look was... at this. <laughs> <laughs> Bob reacted. Well, Ooh. we just wanted to, we wanted to emphasize her boobs there, so. Oh, you sure did. We put what's called in the business a special on them. Mm. That nurse outfit is marvelous. <laughs> I, I just love the look of the digital video here. Obviously, it's a new medium, and it just has that film-like look that is fabulous. The, I, the dialogue here was really, I thought, pretty pretty funny, the, the way it all... It was hot in that room, too. Yeah, we had the lights going. All those people standing in there, no air conditioning. And that's that open window was Raoul's uh, exactly apartment right here. <laughs> yeah, it's getting warm in here too, but that's okay. There she goes. Yay! I like that line. I think that's actually one of my favorite lines. It was Ooga Boobies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the delivery on it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you could see the chiropractor's uh, awards on the wall there. That's yeah, we had all kinds of chiropractor machines that we had to work around inside that room. We were pretty cramped in that Not place. Not only that, he had a lot of family portraits yeah. and junk. You mean like somebody... statues of, <laughs> of himself? It was like somebody's living room. <laughs> oh my goodness, lamps and a book. Yeah, it was a crowded space. But of course, it wasn't meant for like most people in it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, here's still another location in, inside Sandra Dees' uh, strip bar. You know, I remember that uh, during the filming, we, we took a break, we were watching cable television, and uh, Killing of a Chinese Bookie, the John Cassavetes film, was playing that Haji was in. Yeah, we all kind of yes, flipped up. We so all watched her dance scenes. Trippy. Right, well, Russ, Meyer, Russ Meyer would love to have been in this movie, wouldn't he? Oh, Russ Meyer would have just been in heaven with all those gorgeous women, with all those large, large, exotically large breasts. Oh, Russ would have loved it. Oh, she's something else, too. Yeah, that, that's uh, Andrea Anna Person. Uh, did lots of indie films, tons of theater. Brought her own motorcycle. Yeah. And she was another one like Larry Butler, who when she came in to audition, we auditioned several she really got it right right away she really could play this sadistic evil german she, she said she she was german but i don't think she was but oh <laughs> yeah she she really hit the mark as well was that a real knife no it's a prop oh. <laughs> <laughs> now they improvised stuff too she's she grabbed uh Larry's balls, and I think it really did hurt Larry. Well, yeah, I mean, you can see she really, she's what you call a thespian. She really goes with her acting. Well, her husband was her coach, right? Yeah, I think he was on set. And uh, she brought her dog along, too, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a family affair. I don't remember group. the dog. When the did dog, she the dog? The dog was sitting in the car. Ooh. Oh. There he goes. Was there anything there, honey? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes it. He really does like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he does. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish I had had that scene. I would have liked to grab his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Here's the, the famous chicken dance. Oh, this God, is a riot. I love this. What, what turned into a chicken dance, anyway. This was a tough scene to, to edit as well. She had put together a, about a, almost a, I don't know, five-minute dance that she had. And, of course, we couldn't have a five-minute-long dance in the film, so I had to whittle it down to whatever I could and try, I was still try and keep it uh, energized and, you know, a little funny. So this is what we got. Yeah, we had a little bit of a scare here, too, because Larry Butler started having some uh, stomach uh, contractions. He had, like, a little bit of a, a muscle uh, cramp. And I thought, oh, God, at first I thought it might have been a heart attack or something. That, that yeah. Andrea's dance might have given, it might have been a little too much for him, you know? Oh, you mean it wasn't because she squeezed his nuts? <laughs> no? It might have. I don't know. Oh, But luckily it was Larry. all minor. Oh, 
let me kiss it and make him well. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a nice shot with his hands almost on her. The lighting is very good here with the colors. Yeah, the colors. We tried to throw those in wherever we could. Boy, that's really yeah, this, the line here talking about that he could even serve chicken dinners during her act, I thought was pretty, pretty hilarious. Now she's cussing in German, you know, calling him all sorts of naughty things. Bang, oh boy, he's going to get it. Yes, he, uh, he's hoping to get it, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, that famous cup. Russ had a cup like that. He drank his coffee out of. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> why do I not? Why do I find that not so hard to believe? <laughs> and here comes kitten. Oh yes. Oh, I remember when I did that. Larry says to me, "Will you give me a head with your mustache on?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "You bitcha." <laughs> He got he got turned on, huh? <laughs> he likes beef eaters. Well, I, I, <laughs> they don't call him that for nothing, beef eaters. I I am a beef eater, <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> With chili or without it, it's fine. It was it made sense for Chastity not to be the beef eater because she runs an English pub and she would think of some sort of a outfit to disguise herself to trick. Al into getting the strippers out there, so. I love that outfit. It was great. I remember when I went to try it on. It, it was real heavy, huh? Yeah. It yeah. Belong, it's really the size for a real fat man, huh? <laughs> but I had to have that big size, too, so my boobs could fit in it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some space to bounce around. Yeah. Well, you also had a, you had a lot of problems with that English accent. But oh, I, well, well, I'm not British. Yeah, well, then, so what I did was I, I threw a line in for Al Purplewood where he said, now that explains a lousy accent. Not yeah. only with the accent, but I was supposed to sound like a guy. Yeah. I remember the look on your face when I gave you the mustache. That was... Oh, oh actually, I, I, I'm thankful and grateful for that mustache. <laughs> look at them. Oh. You have to say, what were they doing in there, you know? What you know? was the lollipop for? <laughs> oh, the candy. <laughs> well, this is, this is funny, too, what uh, Sherry does being able to uh, wiggle her boobs here. And yeah, that was you need something to bite on, you know, because he's oh, been hurt. Oh, that's so sweet. Kitten, could you do that with your boobs? Yes, of course I do, and I always do them. It's, uh, it's a nice, tight squeeze. There. What else <laughs> did you do with your... Uh... What else did I do with them? Everything I can. I mean, they're my hands when my hands are tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You never had those little pasties that you could twirl around right or oh, left, huh? Oh, God, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, here at least I didn't have a, a magic bag for a kitten to, uh, to, for to transform. Yeah. The hat was a little big on me, though. <laughs> this is funny. There's a line coming up here, of course, which is classic, where Al's, you know, trying to get Haji to kill kitten and turns to her and says, faster pussycat, kill, kill, and Haji gives kind of a bizarre look. I think that's a priceless little bit of uh, a cult movie. Little reference. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's, uh... These were a lot of fun to put together, the, the spins. A little motion blur dissolve. <laughs> <laughs> the double the Avenger. I I sure can try. Boy, look at how you look at how you're hanging out all over there. I know. He always squeezed him whenever he got a chance. <laughs> Who squeezed him? Al. Larry squeezed him. Yes, I, and I let him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, Boy, am I what, strong. What else can you do like that? Ever uh... Ben Steele. Ouch. Oh, the breakaway bottles. These vibrators. It's funny. I went to this store and there was this gay guy behind the counter and I said, look, i got to get the biggest vibrators I can find <laughs> for a sword fight. And the guy, oh, okay, you know, and it was, I said, you're not going to believe this. I was not very happy with this scene. 
she says, I want my granddaughter to see this, but not with a Well, those are just, those, those can be, those can be, uh, And I said, how is a three-year-old going to know a vibrator and what's it for? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the, there's your, you know, Superman has his kryptonite and the Double D Avenger has lemon juice, oh. which curdles milk. Oh. <laughs> there's one of Michaela's oh. wonderful, uh, Makeup jobs there. <laughs> I just, you know, it was like, I thought, oh no, just don't let them pee on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the floor of a strip club. You don't know what's been going on down there. I know. I know. It's been a while since we did this. What, what were they saying? Oh, they're glad that I died, huh? Yeah, they think they, you're right. They think you're finished. Oh, finished or dead? D dead. You think yeah, you're dying anyway. Thought. I might as well be. <laughs> oh no. No. But slowly she's gonna get her a little bit of strength back and try to make her way to the bar. They do the famous uh, 007 just leaving them alive to discover their plan and follow them out. I like those bar stools, they're kind of 50s. Yeah, again, the, the whole concept was to do sort of a live-action, uh, comic bookish type uh, film, and I think that this, the way all the scenes were set up and the structure of everything was uh, exactly that. I hope this film lives forever. It's great. It should. This was this was fantastic. Here the, again, they also got looks like you wouldn't believe. Look at all that greenery. It's nice. Nice neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, they kept going to residential. Oh, she's going to booby bounce again. There she goes. <laughs> I caught them again. The Jeep, the Jeep was actually a CJ7 that I uh, own, and it was 1985, the last year that they made them. It's sort of a classic. Ooh. Hang and on to it, the, big boy. With the doors and the top off. And and that's the prehistoric poo-poo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they have all sorts of dastardly tricks there. So, um... And in homage to Benny Hill, you know, I mean, here's a typical Benny Hill gag that, that was used all the time, you know, oh, racing out to... Oh, he does it marvelous. <laughs> I mean, just marvelous. Doesn't he? I mean, the relief sign, I, I, I mean, it's, I, that kind of relief, I would welcome anytime. <laughs> Look at him. Have you experienced that, kid? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. I'm experiencing right now. <laughs> I need to go. <laughs> 75 minutes talking, we had, you know, and all this water. <laughs> there you go. You know, they were having an open house in this near the area where the Jeep crashed, and again, it was the looky-loo problem. Of yeah, they brought us cookies, remember? I don't remember that. Yeah. You ate cookies, too, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> they were nice people. They let us use power for our uh, smoke machine. Yeah. I thought the booby quake concept was pretty funny, that uh, she could use her super boobs to... Have I used it yet? Yeah, you just did. <laughs> Aren't you watching the screen? Well, did you feel the earthquake the other day? Yeah, and poor, poor Haji. <laughs> poor Haji. I mean, she says, Al, the boogie buggy is discombobulated. You know, she couldn't say booby buggy. I love this. I oh, told Sherry. I said, really, really kind of get your bearings She looks there. like a Barbie doll. Any excuse to see her shape. Yeah. <laughs> but what's funny is that, you know, the girls all had interesting personalities. When you see a lot of models or actresses, very few of them can play comedy, very few of them can really act, and it's, it, I was so and damn have lucky. Fun doing it. I was so damn lucky to find women who were sexy, but at the same time characterish, that could carry off the comedy. They weren't your typical, you know, Barbie doll type. Well, they actually had fun, remember? Yeah, everybody had fun. It was a fun set to be on. This is another <laughs> funny line. <laughs> Bless my over-the-shoulder boulder holder, a boulder. This is almost getting towards the end, isn't it? Yeah, you're about to capture them. I like that red lipstick I had on. Match my cape. 
comes the famous boulder again. Oh no! No! There it goes. Ah! Oh. We had two giant boulders, one that orbs lifted and one for this scene. And you made them both. Yeah. <laughs> well, with other, with some help. Yeah, but that one was flat. <laughs> well, we rolled it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can only roll it so many times and then you're in trouble. Oh, look at him fall. Poor Al. Oh, oh. poor baby. But he enjoyed this, didn't he? Oh, yes, he did. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slobbered all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the next scene, we, we had so many people looking that we, you know, I was going to have the scene where the three villains are handcuffed on the sidewalk, and I just said, well, let's do it over here where they were knocked out. So that's what we... Oh, yeah, that party, everybody was out there. Yeah, I, that's At where the I... The open house. Yeah. But then it, this worked well. It looks, it looks real good. No, it looks great. Well, it's where they would have come to. That's it. It's curtains for them. They're going to go to jail until the next Double D Avenger movie that I write where Al's <laughs> going to break out. <laughs> All the pub stuff was shot the same day. This was the first day, actually, of shooting, I think. Oh, was it? Yeah. So, you no, you first had a second. white shirt the first time. The second, shoot. maybe it was the second. First or second day. Yeah. She needs time to relax and let it all hang out. Can you remember her? Huh? Funny. I do. I need time to relax and let it all. Then we had the tra We did the trailer afterwards. Had Bob Loza do the announcing. It was fantastic. Yeah, he was great. The trailer was supposed to be sort of a classic '50s, '60s type. Uh, you know. The next time there's trouble in town, she's going to give the. Is that when the music comes on, or? Perpetrators a little tip for Chad, yeah. I guess, is what. I can't wait to hear the music. So, oh, you're gonna love the last shot too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Woo! The end. The end. Yes. A nice freezing shot on her. Yes. Well, again, as I as I had said, we we intended. The end. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Remember that? Woo, baby! Yes. All right. And there you are in all your glory, a huh? A protuberant. <laughs> It's worth repeating. Yes, very good. Yeah, again, the, the whole concept was to create a fun cult movie that was sort of reminiscent of the Russ Meyer films and a, a sexy action comedy. And I was just so thrilled to have Kitten Haji, Raven, and Forey yeah. as the stars, and of course the rest of the cast. And uh, this is the first of what's going to be a series, so. There's not a slow moment there. And this is great too. None of the characters appearing in this film intentionally resemble any persons living or dead, especially since no person can have boobs that huge. <laughs> <laughs> you are so cute. So, anyway, well, we look forward to uh, having you see our next films. Keep in touch.